Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today we want to start a new series of making dish clothes. Dish clothes are simple to knit and you can practice different type of stitches and different edges. And it's also practical in the kitchen and in the bathroom. You can make it into bigger size and use it as wash clothes or even bigger, make it a square scarf or a baby blanket. Today we are going to do a simple dish clothes. We'll do a diagonal knitting from corner to corner and we'll leave holes in the four sides just like lace knitting. And this is just a technique. You can make it into any size. It's very easy to adjust the size. And I'm going to use 100% cotton. This is a dishi from kneepix.com. And this is the category for yarn. That's the worsted weight. And I will have the link in the description box if you want to get the same yarn. For the dish clothes, it's better to have 100% cotton and it can absorb water easily. And because it's all natural fabric, you don't have to worry about it melt when it gets too hot or touching the stove. I'm using tension 9 and the mast tension is number 5. I will start by casting on 3 needles. So that's a 3 stitch. And we are going to work from the corner to corner. So I will do the simple e wrap place to the carriage and need two rows. Now we can start to increase and make sure all the stitches are knit properly because the first few rows are more difficult to knit because we don't have proper weight yet. Now we can add some claw weight. Just place a corner and we'll start our increase. And I'm going to do increase on both sides. I will move one needle out so there will be an empty needle in the middle. And the right side the same. One stitch out and there will be one empty needle. So we have two empty needles now and we can need two rows. You can see we create two holes here. And this is the corner. And we just keep increasing on both sides, but we want to make sure it's close to a 45 degree angle. So I want to alternate to have one increase, need one row, and then one increase, need two rows. So I'm going to alternate the row count in between each increase. Now I have the first increase and need two rows. So the next one, I'm going to have the increase and just need one row. So on the right side, it's the same. Increase by transferring one stitch out. And you can see there are two empty needles and I'm going to just need one row. And then I will continue increase, increase. And for the empty needle, I place the needle back to the B position. Check the corner, make sure it's kneaded properly. Now we will keep doing that. Transfer out, transfer one stitch out. All the empty needle back to B. Now I'm going to need one row. And we'll keep repeating that. So we are alternating need one row and need two rows in between each increase. 
I find that creates a more square shape. We already start the shape and that's the corner and we can keep going until uh, speak as you like and we'll do some decrease. And make sure you move your way up when you keep working because the piece will become bigger and bigger. Now I have the lens you like and I want to start decreasing. And I'm ending the widest part in the two row of plan knitting instead of one row. I find it easier to work with. And to decrease, it's the same idea. I want to transfer the outermost stitch, one stitch in. So we transfer one stitch in and the empty needle will have to go back to non-working position. And the new needle, that's the one with uh, two stitches, will have to go to B, the regular knitting position. And we want the second stitch to be empty, so I will just transfer that stitch to the next needle. I put it closer to the center because the other ones already have two stitches. And the empty needle back to the B position. And we'll do the same on the other side. Move one stitch in. The empty needle back to the A position. And the other one goes to B. And we transfer the second stitch to the third stitch from the side edge and place an empty needle to B. Now we can start knitting again. And I will knit one row. Make sure it's knitted properly. If not, you can hand knit to make it look nice. And we'll keep repeating the decrease. Move one stitch in and then transfer the second stitch, the first empty needle back to the A, and the other empty needle back to the B. And same on the right side. Make sure we put the weight properly and knit two rows. So we'll just keep repeating that. We decrease one stitch on each side. We will knit one row and alternating with knitting two rows. Now we're going to decrease again. Decrease again. Move the second stitch to the third. So there's an empty needle and knit one row. Now I only have five stitches left. Let's do one more reduce. One stitch in. And we'll move the middle stitch to the side. 
will need two rows. That's the last hole, last lace hole. So we can bind off the three stitches. Remember we started with three stitches. So now we bind off with uh, three stitches. You can bind off any method you like. I'm going to cut the yarn and take it off the machine. So that's what it looks like. And you can see all the holes on the sides and uh, diagonal lines in the center because we need from one corner to the other corner. And I will give it a steam, steam iron to make it more square and less wavy. And here is the back side. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and a happy knitting.